Hi, welcome to Online Physiology. My name is Sarah Wilkinson. I'll be your instructor, more likely guide this semester for this course. You've signed up for this course because many reasons. Perhaps you have a job or want some flexibility in your schedule or have a long commute. Um, know that signing up for this course requires just as much work, if not more work, than the in-class Physiology 125. So if you feel like you're not a self-motivated person or that you could benefit from some more tension from the teacher in the class, know that both Serge and I teach a in-class physiology that you can still transfer into up until September 10th. So that's a Monday. So if you would like to do that, you could do it online. Or if you need some help with that, you can go see Victoria, your first semester program coordinator. It was so nice to see so many faces at the orientation uh, this past week. If you didn't manage to go, please make sure you orient yourself with all the information that you may have missed. And you can probably find that in your student handbook that you'll uh, pick up from Victoria. Let's get into this class specifically. For Physiology Online, I'm not sure if you've ever taken an online class, but it's very self-directed. I'm here and available. This is my home office where I work a lot from, but if you'd like to find me on campus, I'll be there Tuesday to Friday. Best to make an appointment because I'm teaching online, so I'll be home a lot as well. I also don't mind doing online appointments if you would prefer that. Um, I'm not as available in the evenings and weekends as I have a family. However, you could um, reach me most days because um, they're all at school and at work. So let's get into how this course is going to be structured um, and then how to use the Blackboard site because this course is going to be based off of Blackboard. So let's go to Blackboard first. Note that my course looks a little different on Blackboard than yours will likely do. Um, so, but this will give you a good overview of how to use it. So you're going to want to start at the Getting Started tab here. So you're going to click on Getting Started. And under your Getting Started, you're going to see uh, an uh, introductory video from all the faculty who teach this class, a letter from me, your critical path, which I'm going to go through. You're going to want to download, print, put in front of you this critical path. It's super important. You're going to find your course outline uh, where you're going to want to download and keep that for your files for future reference. Under your learning materials is where you're going to find all the course information. Now, right now, you're only going to see module one and two, but there are 10 modules, actually 11 modules to this course. So let's just look at the first module. If you click in the first module, you're going to find a whole bunch of stuff. So you're going to see introduction and then all of these items that you're going to have to work through. So as you click in your introduction, you're going to work through the material, clicking next to get to the next part. There's going to be different sorts of activities that you can click on and work through and that type of thing. Now make sure as you get to the end of each section, um, you're going to find review questions. I would like you to complete these in your notes. Um, and if you get stuck, please go to the discussion board, which I'll show you in a second. and put up your question of where you're stuck. And if you're doing really well in the class and you want to test yourself, please answer your fellow classmates on the discussion board. Um, it can be a really collaborative process and it's worked really well for me in the past in other classes. Once you've done those discussion questions, you're going to move on to the next module. Now, often at the end of each module, there'll be a quiz or an assignment. You're going to want to make sure you pay attention to the due dates on those. So those are your learning materials. That's where you're going to find all the course content. In addition to those learning materials, you're going to have textbook readings. Now there's several different textbooks you could use for this class, which I will go through in a second. So know that this content on the website is not the only content that you should be reviewing. Let's go now to discussion boards. So there'll be direct links within the learning materials, but sometimes it's just easier to go into your discussion board. So here are the discussion boards, which aren't all apparent to you right now. Some of them are hidden, but your review questions, if you have any questions about your review, uh, you're going to put them under module one. 
there's going to be specific discussion questions I'm going to ask you to post an answer to. You're going to find those here, as well as potentially a few discussion board assignments. So you're going to want to post things in the discussion board. If you would like to review your grades, you can click on My Grades, as well as the calendar here will have all your important due dates. So remember I said getting started, you have a really, really important critical path. Let's go to that now and have a look at this critical path. It's going to have a lot of important information for you. Okay, so hopefully you've downloaded your critical path. Here is all my contact information as well as how much each assessment in this course is worth. So you will have five online ass assignments and you're going to find those under the assessment tab. I'll go more into that uh, in another video. You are going to have six online quizzes, an online midterm test, and a final written exam at Humber College during week 15. So you need to be flexible and make the exam date and time during that week. So if you've got a work schedule, I would suggest you talk to your employer and week 15, you might as well ask them to have it off. Now, in terms of textbooks, there is a couple potential textbooks for this website. So this course was designed using this textbook here. So this is called Visual Anatomy and Physiology. Now this is a pretty big textbook and when this course was originally designed, Humber created a custom course pack for this course, which is available at the bookstore. So if you would like to buy a textbook, you can either buy Visual Anatomy or Physiology, which will be the same page numbers as this one. So when you have readings, you would look under the Martini section, M-A-R-T, okay? There are some other resources. You can buy any high-level anatomy physiology textbook. That works. You can get them, some of them for pretty cheap, three to ten dollars online. If you can find one, super. Marib, Martini, there's a few other really good ones. You don't have to buy the expensive textbook. You're just going to have to figure out what the page numbers are, but it's not too hard. The other option is there's a Creative Commons online free textbook that you can download and print or just read on your Kindle, iPad, on your computer. And it's very good as well and I've provided the page numbers for that. So it's called OpenStax and you're going to find the page numbers on there. So let's just take a quick look at OpenStax right now so you can have a look at what it looks like. So when you click on the link you're going to get to this website here and it's called Anatomy Physiology. You can look at the table of contents. If you would like to view the textbook online, you can. It doesn't go according to the page numbers. Or you can download the PDF and read it on your computer or print it. Or you can download it to your iPad, your phone, or on your Kindle. So this is free. It's open access. It's peer reviewed. It's a excellent textbook uh, if you would like to use it. So now that we've gone over the textbooks for this course, let's look at the critical path. And a critical path is just your guide to the semester. What's due in what week? What's it worth? What should I be reading? What should I be doing? Okay, so this is your map for the semester. So let's just go over quizzes. Uh, I'm not going to accept them past the due date. They close at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's no exception to that. It's not like high school where there's some, you know, you can submit it when you want. Not here at college. Your standard HRT uh, policies will apply to assignments. So if you get it in before the due date, you can get up to 100% of the mark. We deduct 20% per day. So if you are late on the day it's due by 10 minutes, you're losing 20%. Okay, so you can have up to three days after, but you're going to be losing 60%. So you might as well work ahead and not leave it to the last minute. Hence, self-driven people will do well in this class. So let's take a look at week one and two for this course. So during week one, you're going to want to go into module one. You're going to also get the getting started stuff. You're going to do all the notes and the review questions within that module and you're going to do the reading either from Martini, chapter eight, pages 248 to 281, 
or if you're using OpenStax, chapters 1, 9 to 16, chapters 3, 87 to 105. By the end of that week, on September 8th, I will release the first quiz and you have up until Monday morning at 10 a.m. to have it completed, no exceptions. If you're having a panic moment Sunday night, I am not likely to be around. However, I am around most mornings, hence, I put the 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time deadline. I do drop my son off at school every morning, so you, there'll be a period of time when I'm not at my computer or I'm feeding my son breakfast and I can't be available to you. Uh, but if you get it in, plan to have it done by latest 9 a.m., you should be fine. That first quiz is going to be worth 5%. For week two, you will complete module two. You'll go through all the notes, the review questions. You'll do your readings, either the Martini or the OpenStax or any other textbook. And then you'll have your first assignment. Now, this assignment will take you a fair amount of time. So you're not going to want to start it on the Monday morning. You're going to want to start it much earlier than that. So you're going to want at least two to three hours, maybe four to complete this. I do not mind if you complete it with someone else in class. So if you meet someone and you want to sit together and work together, no problem. I'm only going to ask that you write the person's name that you work with so I'm aware of who's working with who and that you do equal contributions. So there's a few ways that you can work together. If you would like to work together in person, meet at Humber or off campus or at your homes, no problem. If you would like to work online together in separate locations, I can set you up a private discussion board with that person so that you can do all your work on the discussion board. You may also work, want to work through Google Docs or any other things. Your first assignment will be a selective release in that you complete part one. Once part one is completed, part two will be released to you. Once part two is released to you, part three will be released to you and so on and so forth. I think there's going to be about four parts and it's going to take you a fair amount of time. So just make sure that you know that there's more than just the first part that you have to complete by the due date. So I would highly recommend you start working on that latest Friday or Saturday to have it done by the Monday. I'm not going to go over through every week, but it's going to operate sort of like that. So every second, every week, you're going to have either a quiz or an assignment and you're going to have different modules opening up to you as you go through the course. So like I said, this course is quite intensive in terms of how much work you have to do on your own and how self-directed you need to be. But if you need that flexibility or if you work really well online and you just like to go ahead and do things, uh, this might be the course for you. I'm going to try and post as many videos as I can on course content as well as draw from others, but there's, it's, there's some sections that won't have as much video content. So let's just review the sections that Blackboard has for you. If you go under getting started, you're going to find your course outline, critical path, and your textbook readings. If you uh, go under learning materials, you're going to find your course notes, your review questions, and any videos I might post. Under assessment, you're going to find your online quizzes as well as your assignments. And then under discussion boards, you're going to find, you're going to be able to post your questions and answer your questions. That's it for today. Hopefully this video hasn't been too long or too boring and that you're excited to get going on your semester. I look forward to working with you as you work through this class or if you do decide to take the course in class, uh, both myself and Serge teach physiology and uh, we love seeing faces. Um, don't hesitate to drop by the office. I will set up some office hours that you can just drop into anytime should you need some extra help or if those times don't work for you, just send me a message and we can set up another time. We have some great resources at Humber. You can get yourself a teaching assistant for a very low amount of money, someone who's been very successful in the course in the past, as well as we have counseling resources, resources for students with disabilities, all sorts of wonderful things we can offer for you at Humber. So welcome to the course, welcome to Humber, and I look forward to seeing you.